Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Canterlot Siege 2. Last time we played version 1.5 and now we are on version 1.61, which is almost the latest version. The latest version is now 1.7. I think it was released either yesterday or two days ago, I'm not too sure. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to do something quite unexpected this version. Uh, although I will explain something first. I uh, completed all maps, uh, map 7 and map 8, but just to... Uh, Tried to beat them as quickly as possible. Some lightning dust got through, so I didn't get perfects. But basically, be beating all maps on normal with just beating it, don't have to get perfect. But if you play easy mode, it doesn't count. You enable sand. You are you're able to use sandbox mode. Uh, Fuzio one informed me about that. I thought uh, he hadn't put it in yet. Apparently, it's been there since version 1.0. Uh, sandbox mode it gives you unlimited bits, but it doesn't make you immortal like the first Canterlot Siege did. So we'll probably try it once. See. Uh, Make sure something interesting with it. Uh, anyway, we're on ver map six now. Uh, for this, I think I'm gonna do a bonbon bon solo. Although pseudo solo, we're still gonna be able to use supers and uh, support ponies. But there's a problem. Bonbon, bon, I admit, did a lot of testing with her alone and with or with support ponies or stuff like that. She cannot get past the first ten waves. But I discovered a way that's probably specific to this map alone, maybe map uh, here, seven uh, will work too. A strategy that only works on this map. So what you want to do is you want to have Celestia ready for the first wave to target the first lane. Call first the first three waves, use her super, and then call all six other waves until the ninth wave. And then just watch as she destroys all the enemies at once, or almost. And just before her super ends, call Nightmare Moon too, so she'll get hit too. But as you can see, some enemies do survive because they don't uh, spawn before she's completed. Well, yeah, they don't spawn before she's done. Hey everyone, this is Whitehawk, post commentary. The original video went on for a bit too long and the commentary was really drab at the end. So, uh, we're gonna be I'm gonna be commenting post from now on. Anyway, as you can see, I have two bonbons out. The reason for this is because uh, Bobon's Bobon's DPS, or rather her uh, attack rate, it's a little too slow, and it doesn't because of how many funds you have in the beginning. You need to split the Bobon in two, basically. Not even much to it. Also, you want to limit uh, Bobon's range to level two at the beginning, because otherwise she'll always target Nightmare Moon and all those uh, enemies that survived. They will went fast through Bobon. Really annoying. Anyway, once you're done with Nightmare Moon, call Celesta again, use it on the first lane again, and call seven more waves. Up to the Gilda, the ten Gildas. It's okay if a few Shadow Bolts survive, the, the Bobons you have out should be able to deal with them. And now, Flim and Flam, uh, you can deal, it's possible to deal with them with two Bonbons alone. Although I'm gonna call a third one right here. Also, I used this fancy pants because uh, I think I needed more gold for it. It doesn't help all that much, to be honest, though. Especially because we're going to be using Celestia a lot. So, Celestia, once again, we need to use her for the next two waves. But, instead, call the 19th wave. Let it go for a moment. And wait until the Gilda, the first Gilda, reaches the fifth square. Then call her, and then call Chrysalis as well. And then, watch as she destroys most of the Gildas, as well as uh, Chrysalis changes lanes. And Chrysalis herself gets damaged. The reason why we want to call uh, the Celestia a bit late on the 19th wave is because you don't need help to dealing with the first enemies, but the Gildas will cause a lot of trouble for the Bonbons, and Chrysalis herself needs to be hurt. So that's why you need to be uh, used it at a specific situational moment. Anyway, wave 21 is Iron Wheels. Way too easy to deal with. Just killing all the Iron Wheels. He got buffed in version 1.7, so... He might be a bit more difficult to deal with. Uh, a word of warning, Boom Bonds, they're, they're not that reliable. In fact, this whole... Bonbon solo thing, it's really difficult to do because too many the Bonbons focus on the same enemy too many times. 
Anyway, we're using Celestia for the following waves again. Flim and Flam cause lots of more trouble than expected when they're put into huge crowds. As you can see, even though we got a whole bunch of them, the following make a huge dent into our defense zone. Uh, flying Gildas, easy to deal with, especially with Boom Bonds. They don't have a lot of HP even though they're really fast. And there aren't that many of them, so... Okay, for Wave 27, 28, and 29, we have to use Celesta yet again, but... Call her before you call the waves, and then you call all three of them. It's fine if she misses some of the Flying Gildas. Most importantly though, she has to get all the night guards, because the night guards take a lot of hits. As you can see here. She barely managed to defeat them all. Flim and Flam, quite a few of them. But not enough. And Iron Wheel, yet again, he's way too weak. Okay, uh, Sunset Shimmer, I'm calling Luna before calling her out, so that we can do a bunch of uh, damage her before again she gets to the bonbons. That way, once once uh, she gets killed by the bonbons, we get a bonus on uh, how many bits she gives out, as shown here. Okay, uh, for now, we're gonna be waiting until Celeste is available again, because the next wave is uh, five Night Guards. Or I, I think it's in ten Night Guards, actually. And Night Guards, Bonbon -Bon just can't deal with them. They're, they're basically impossible for her to deal with. Uh, they Either it's because the Bonbons focus too much on a single one or something, I'm not sure. Either way, we have to wait until Celeste is available. Right now, I'm gonna put some. I'm putting some support ponies, support ponies here and there, because I have nothing better to do. But since we have so few bonbons, it's not that useful. Bonbon, you don't get quite get lots of her to use. Also, here's the issue with fancy pants. He kind of he kind of activates or triggers my OCD, and as a result, I'm trying to make it so that the bonbons are all around him all the time. In fact, it's the entire reason I'm really doing support ponies because I don't want to put a bonbon in a location where Fancy Pants is not uh, does not affect her. Anyway, because Celestia, activate her. Call wave 31. I possibly. I'm not calling any more. Well, actually, yeah, I did call wave 32, but I probably shouldn't have. Or did I? Mm, yeah, I probably shouldn't have called wave 32 because it called more night cards. That's one of the first mistakes I did. Or actually, no, right? I should have called wave 32, but a lot earlier because the night cards only appeared near the end. But and because of that, they all survived. As I said before, Bonbon -Bon just can't deal against night cards. That's five lives down. Lightning Dust we can deal with, but only these. And only because there's five of them. And then there's this huge wave of enemies. Fortunately, Celeste is available once again. Uh, I waited a bit too long here. Because I was waiting for the Night Guard to pop out. But Celeste takes a while to pop out herself, and as, a, as you can see here, she missed nearly all of the night guards. Which means, once again, they all, they're all, most of them are going to survive. Alright, at the end, uh, the original video I said that making a bomb on solo past wave 40 is impossible, but given how many mistakes I did, it, it might be possible to get the Discord at the very least. Ment cores are fair enough. Anyway, the next wave, it's more night cards. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain that 
since we don't have Celeste available, it's going to be a pain to deal with. I'm changing the strategies of my bonbons here to first so that they focus on the first uh, night guard on in the line. And here we go. And then I decided the last second to change it back to Luna. Unfortunately, Luna just isn't that great against uh, so many night guards. It worked. It, it saved me again for the, against this wave in the end, but as you can see, I only only one of them made it through. But now it's ten lightning dusts, and that's one thing Bonbon simply can't handle. If it was five, we she could handle it, but ten, not so much. So yeah, with all the mistakes I did, I couldn't get to wave forty. We're using only Bonbons, but what this proved is that Celesta is extremely useful when you know how to use her. And if you're, if you're willing to not have a, get the bonus bits from the fancy fans. But yeah, Celestia, super useful. I, I thought she was useless in all my other playthroughs, but given how, how you can use her like that to get past the first 10, 10, 20 waves super easily, I think I might reconsider using her from now on. I still don't know how to use Twilight though. Twilight, she attacks randomly and you have to count on luck for her to be useful. I'll, I might try to solo once again in the future because it's actually really fun to do because of, of how specific the strategy has to be and how there is some leeway to it. But for next video, I'm probably going to do a vinyl solo. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day.